quadratic equations. In this chapter, we will recollect first what are quadratic equations, second solutions of quadratic equations, third different methods to solve quadratic equations, fourth nature of roots of quadratic equations and fifth applications of quadratic equations. The question is which of the following are quadratic equations? First, x minus 2 into x plus 3 equal to x minus 1 into x minus 3. Second, x square plus 2x minus 4 equal to 0. Third, x plus 1 by x equal to x square plus 1. Fourth, x into x plus 1 plus x cube plus 3 equal to 0. Now while working this question, you must keep in mind the general form of a quadratic equation. General form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, a not equal to 0. So if equations we are able to represent in this form, then it will be a quadratic equation, otherwise not. Out of these four parts, I will take one part. For example, I will take the first part. First part is x minus 2 into x plus 3 equals x minus 1 into x minus 3. Let us try to represent this in this form. So we open it out. x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 equals x square minus 3x minus x plus 3. Now here x square x square cancels and we get from here we get x plus 4x minus 6 minus 3 equal to 0. This implies 5x minus 9 equal to 0. And compare with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, a not equal to 0. We notice there is no term of x square, so not a quadratic equation. In the same manner, if you look at the second part, which is x square plus 2x minus 4 equal to 0, second part, if you look into. Now, if you compare this, with a quadratic equation, we will notice this is a quadratic equation. Similarly, try the other two part of your own. 